I'm back at this county park. I've been hunting and uh, trying to locate uh, the third homestead that used to be on this property. And I'll tell you what I've done is uh, I've been hitting all these trees all around here, just eyeballing, no metal detector. And I'm looking at the dirt that surrounds each one of these trees uh, and seeing what I could find. Now, everything on that end of this picnic area, which is, this is, I think, pretty close to uh, where this home site was. Uh, everything on that end of this picnic area, I found nothing but, you know, modern chopped up aluminum and pieces of foil and things like that. But then when I come down to this end, uh, specifically that tree there, this one here, and a couple of the other ones down the hill here, I find little telltale signs that there used to be something here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a couple of pieces of, of pottery or porcelain from plates or whatever, and and they have some eggshelling to them. That only comes from age, so I know I'm in the right area here when I start seeing bare dirt like this that, that has, uh, you know, broken pottery in that, in the debris, I'm pretty close, so... I'm going to scope a few more things out here today, and then maybe I'll hit this place on the weekend uh, when I have a little time. So, we'll see you soon. Alright, well, I'm back here at this old park, and uh, I'm at the third home site that I've identified on plat maps. And uh, I'm just hunting around the area. I found some pieces of ceramic in the other day, and I just dug a target here. Some of you might recognize what this is. It's an old Ford hubcap, or center cap for a wheel. I don't know how old it is. I'm sure a car expert out there could probably tell me. Uh, but hey, that's pretty cool. It's definitely a lot older than any of the vehicles I'm driving right now, so kind of a cool find. See you in a bit. Okay, so here's another interesting feature. Um, you might be able to see this this flagstone down here, this one flat rock, then there's a brick, and I know it's hard to see, but there's more brick in the ground here, kind of around an area, and then there's some little chunks of concrete here, or some kind of rock, and then in the center, there is a, uh, a divot, I'm guessing, by the this piece right here, and the hole that this was where the privy might have been the outhouse so um, another good sign that there's a little more than what meets the eye here at, at the old public park so uh, this will be an area I want to come back with my detector this is kind of cool I found this little green capsule in the ground and uh, I don't know if you're familiar with geocaching but um, I can't get this open with one hand here with me. So I'm screw I'm screwing the top here. Then once you get the top unscrewed, there's a little piece of paper in there. And uh, if you geocache, you use GPS, and people will uh, kind of put these little geocaches on the map, and then you just walk around with your your GPS enabled phone or your actual GPS and find them and then when you find them you open them up log the date you found them close them back up and put them in this one's a hanging one typically you'd see them hanging in a tree uh, but I think the little there was a little loop on it that held it on there that busted so I'm gonna screw it back together and I'm gonna put it back up in the tree so kind of a neat little thing all right so uh, the last place I was at, that that third home site that I that I found on the plat maps, turned out to be kind of a big trash heap. But I'm not giving up on it forever. But I wanted to try someplace different. So where I'm at now is another county park, and um, part of this property used to be uh, owned by some of my family uh, who migrated here to Iowa in the mid 1850s. So there's kind of some personal history here for my family so when I find things out of this place it it's kind of cool if they're old um, I have found some old harmonica pieces uh, from Germany so uh, that ties it to kind of my family but 
when you look around here, you can kind of see from the landscape, you know, why people from Germany would have settled here. I'd been to Germany when I was in the army, and I was amazed at how beautiful it was and how similar it was to, you know, some of the area here in Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and it makes sense why they would migrate here. But today, I'm in uh, head high weeds trying to work my way back to these these woods here. When I was mushroom hunting here in the spring, I found an old uh, horse drawn plow in the woods or some kind of farm implement. You can see it on the front of my uh, YouTube page on my channel. It's the photo there on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to try uh, hunting in the woods. The grass here is super hard. We haven't had much rain. It's really dry and I don't want to do much damage to the turf. So I'm going to hit the woods area where the trees kind of, um, you know, shade the ground from the sun and let some of the moisture stay in. It'll be easier digging and I don't have to worry about, you know, any grass not growing back until we get some rain. So I'm going to give it a shot here and we'll see what we can find. Talk to you in a bit. So I just came through those weeds and uh, got to this lower grass. Got a Decided to sweep around, turn my iron discrimination off, see if I could find any, you know, concentration of junk. And first dig, I guess you're never immune from the pull tab. Gotta love it. Yep, better luck next time. Alright, pull tab number two, score. Alright, so I hit the woods. I got tired of digging out there in the, in the weeds, so... I'm getting a good quarter reading here at four inches in the woods where my probe is at. Um, probably a screw cap, but let's dig it up and find out what it is. Well, whatever it is, it's in the, in the hole there. I can see the edge of it, so let's see what this bad boy is. Yeah, it's a quarter, and it's a new quarter. So, there you go. First coin find, and it's a new quarter. No value to that quarter there at all, except maybe in a soda machine. Uh, this is an odd one. I'm not sure what it is. It's a little what is it? It's a piece of lead, round. And uh, looks like it was stuck on the end of something at one point, but it's got some weight to it. Eh, maybe somebody else knows what it is. I don't. Well, I'm quite sure this is the top of an American Indian, uh, whatever kind of beverage they drank can. I'm just kidding. Just another piece of crap. So there's that piece of farm equipment I was talking about that's in the woods, so... Um, I found that while I was out mushroom hunting. It doesn't guarantee me I'm going to find anything around here, but it does guarantee that at some point, a long time ago, there was some people here. So that's where we need to hunt, where there were people a long time ago. So I'm going to hunt around this area here and see if I can't find anything besides more pieces of iron that belong to that thing. Well, not too far from that implement there, I dug up another piece of what is it lead. This one's different than the last one, but it's got something in the bottom of it. I can't tell what it is. Different shape. It's not a bullet. It looks like it was molded. I see seams on it. So, may not be very old either. Not sure. Well, I just dug, uh, well, I thought it was a, maybe an Indian head when I saw it in the hole because of the green patina, but it's just the... Uh, bottom of a shotgun shell. It's a pretty old one though. Um, before they would have made the, the casing itself out of plastic, they made them out of like a paper and those disintegrate and all they leave is the cap on the bottom. Uh, so it's got some age to it so I'm not totally dead in the water. Still signs of life. And purely for illustrative purposes I went ahead and found a newer shotgun shell to show you the difference. Actually uh, just coincidence that less than 10 feet away from the other one I dug this one now this is a deer slug and uh, they open this park up to public hunting 
this one has uh, not been fired so I'm a little hesitant to carry it around in my bag for fear that something in my bag hits the primer and my stroke of luck would be that even though this thing looks like it came from the wreck of the Titanic it would probably still blow half my hip off so I very rarely leave anything uh, where I find it. I usually dispose of everything but this is going to be an exception for me. So. Poop. Not mine. Well, I've been trudging around here for a couple hours and, and I'm not having a whole lot of luck. I've been through the wood line here for the most part until it got right over in this area. It was just too difficult to traverse that area, so I came back out in this field and ducked myself a vintage Mountain Dew can. But I think maybe the, the best find of the day is going to be the day itself uh, because it doesn't look like I'm going to find much more than that quarter in the line of coins and uh, I'm probably not going to find much more than that piece of poop so but hey still a great day to get out beautiful day and gotta love the scenery okay so I just made that comment about not finding anything else worth a crap but uh, I did find something pretty cool I found this and what it looks like is an Iowa conservation tag from possibly a bird. It was about six inches down and it's got a number on it so I'm wondering if I couldn't look it up and uh, see uh, which animal they were tracking with this little leg tag. I think it's probably a bird from the size of it. But uh, hey that's pretty cool. I've never found one of those before. Well, not exactly a stellar find here, but some people might recognize what this is. If, uh, if you don't recognize it, I'm not going to tell you what its purpose is, but uh, let's just say it came in a little kit called the dugout, and this was called the baseball bat. So, anyway, if you don't know what it is, do your own research. I'm not going to be an enabler. And another new quarter here. That one's just red as can be. It's a 1980. Could be uh, lost by the same person that lost that little baseball bat. Probably the same person that buried that Mountain Dew can as well. If you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to call it quits here for today. It's a beautiful day, but I'm just not having a whole lot of luck, so... I don't know if I'm going to go try somewhere else. I may just uh, I may just call it a day. Either way, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.